हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज रवि वेलकम टू द चैनल वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एज ओ डेटा फैक्ट्री क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सीरीज सो दीज अ सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चन आई एम टेकिंग फ्रॉम वन ऑफ माई कनेक्शन फ्रॉम द लिंक इन हु अपेयर फॉर एज ओ डेटा फैक्ट्री क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सो टूडे आई एम ट्राइंग टू कवर ऑल द क्वेश्चन एंड हाउ टू आंसर एंड इफ यू न्यू टू द चैनल प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब प्लीज शेयर this video where we can the people who are attempting the azure interview they can they can get the answer and if you are attending uh, appearing for interview and you getting new question just do me a comment or try to connect with the linkedin i'll try to cover all the question and answers okay so let me start today's discussion about azure data factory question and answer so i am covering five question today and if you think the question is not accurate if you know better solution please ping me on the chat or please uh, comment comment it out so i can uh, try to enhance myself or or if you think this is answer just make a like on the video okay so by first question how to reduce data like storage cost if project is on hold so why this question comes up so you have working on the project where you have loaded your data on azure blob storage or azure aws location gen 1 gen 2 anything now what question inter want to understand if your project is on hold means your data not in use so how you reduce your the client cost on those storage and you know right if you store your data the based on your data uh, capabilities or how much data you have in your storage it will cost as per your uses right so this is a concept of azure now this question if you understand let me repeat again how you to you how you reduce data like storage that could be adls that could be your blob storage so you want to reduce the cost of your storage memory okay the second question how you enhance performance of copy activity if process is slow means you take any example i will take example of uh, uh, blob to blob storage okay so you build a pipeline and your process is taking much time so what are the step you need to follow to enhance your copy activity flows okay third question how what is the best way to authenticate your storage file from adf so you have adf location and you are fetching data from your storage account from blob take example now you should authenticate first right so what is the best method to authenticate so interview want to understand do you understand all the concept of authentication and you are giving username password directly so what is your thought on that the fourth and the very impressive question i got it to answer so your data is loading might be your data is on the process to load and data is loading frequently now you need to take a urgent deployment in between or you have a take a live data streaming you have data live, live streaming will it always runs right and you want to take a deployment then what is the best practice which you need to follow where no data loss occurred okay and fifth question fifth question you have a secret values on your keyboard right the tenant id or secret values or any of the ids now you want to display or print those keys on adf so these are the five question i'm going to cover today please with me on the till the last of the video you will get all the ideas how to answer what the question comes up so let's try to convert, uh, find the answer for my first question how to reduce data like storage cost if project is on hold so answer would be we have uh, what we have we have uh, tires we have tires on that so tire means we have multiple tire once you take a license right once you create a data storage you will have option to choose is a hot tire cold tire cool, uh, cool tire or archive tire so hot tire is online tire optimized for storing data that is access or modify frequently means you have a data which change frequently or you are accessing those data very frequently means you can access any time in in the day okay so this cause a lot and you and but is you can uh, access anywhere any time so this is called a halt tire cool tire as online tire optimized for storing data that is unfrequently accessed or modified means your date you have a data might be in 30 days you're going to access it i'm giving a hypothetical days might be weekly or you are not very frequent user of those so you can use a cool tire the in a cold tire 
third is cold type. Cold type is, is online, as also online type. Might be you accessing those files on six month. You have those kind of uh, pipeline uses. And the last one is archive file. So this is offline tire, is not online. That's 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 the difference. Okay. Hot tire, cool tire, and cold tire. These are three different which are online, but archive tire is an offline tire which store the data but you cannot access. Okay. And these are a lot of latency. It means you're not using anywhere. So this is uh, this is our answer. We have to use a archive tire means you not use offline there is a very less cost on the your storing files so how you answer it we are you we have to use archive tires on storage while building a storage area i are you can change it as well there's no difference on that so that means microsoft know you not using those storage area uh, so this is a concept of archive tires okay so you might not access any anywhere once your project in a hold so you we have, we have to opt a archive tire so this is the answer for your first question what is my second question how to enhance performance of copy activity in a process is slow so the answer would be there are three major steps to follow first is data injection unit okay data integration unit means once we set up a uh, diu means once you run any pipelines i take example of copy activity of uh, uh, blob to blob okay simple example i will take so once you have file and you're moving it is slow so once suppose you have 10 files to move so 10 file uh, if you go to setting of your adf pipeline for copy activity you have option to how many diu units you are going to assign you can assign up to uh, 2 to 265 okay based on your requirement if you make it automatically azure will do it for you uh, means how many power you need to run this action means you have 10 files might be uh, diu is for four or five okay so you have uh, azure or you can decide how many units you need it so it will give you power to run your operation if you have a self-hosted IR, i'm giving same scenario so you don't have a azure you have an on prevention gateway so what you have to do you have to uh, define your because self-hosted signed by private area means i am i am the owner of self-hosted so i have to add memory i ram for particular machine nodes machine is called node here so i have one node i can enhance the ram is called a scale up and we have one more term is scale out scale out means you add one more additional node means you have to add one more server okay so this is a for hosting server self host integration and time this is two step third step is parallel copy so where we get the option we get option in a setting itself how many parallel that you want it you can choose till 32 parallel run suppose i have one file which is including 24 GB. Okay, so we can split the memory wise. Mine might be 255 or 100 GB. Means how you split it based on your parallel copy called parallel copy uh, num assignment. So if I choose 32, it will difference for uh, less than one MB file for you. Okay, one one less one GB. So you can decide how much parallel run you wanted on your copy activity csv to csv so you how you answer it we have to follow three steps if you have in azure so you have to define data and unit how much you want it second would be uh, parallel copy how many copy process run you wanted on this uh, activity so you can simply answer it on let me come to third question third question is which is the best method to authenticate your storage from the area means uh, you have a blob files okay and you accessing through adf so simple way if you do psc you can do uh, user element password or if you're using uh, azure file you can use a subscription resource and you give the use ad groups right but what is best practice for if you use design enterprises uh, system right you cannot be hard code thing right you have to make a very dynamic way where user cannot see the things type so for my side i have two things manage entity is allow both system and user you can define that and second was a service account it's called spn so you have to create a, a system manager identity and you have to give access to that identity to add a, a storage label account okay and once you are given access to that uh, manage entity username so what you have to do you either you have to use uh, manage entity 
credential where you just have to define the credential on the ADF side or secondly you can uh, create a parameter app and give the use uh, you have to give pass the URL from the storage location you have to grant all the accesses and you have to give a credential okay uh, then it, it won't show anything right so what you answered you have to use a managed identity system one you have to grant give grant role to your uh, storage area where you can access it okay and in managed identity you also have one option called credential as well means you not need to give any www.url of your storage account or give them credentials you have to directly in credential you can set it out means what is your name password and in uh, managing the part when you access accessing the file confirming the data set you can directly use the credential okay and that would be dynamic globally it asks okay and this also helpful for uh, higher level deployment means you just have to change that uh, credential and nothing much Secondly, SPN, SPN is also the same thing where you have to define user and password. Uh, you have to create a particular user which be, uh, work as a service account and you have to grant those access to same way like a uh, management entity, you have to grant it at uh, access level. Okay. Uh, this is a major area you have to define. Okay. Uh, let's come to fourth question. Fourth question is a very interesting question. I might be not answered accurately here. If you know better option to load the stream data, you can directly ask me. Okay, you can really comment it out on my comment box. I will try to revise this video for your answers. Okay, so as per my understanding, we have to because the live streaming data data is kept loading and and live streaming done batch by batch, right? So what answer I get it from the Azure? We have to stop the pipeline for live streaming once your batch is completed, particular batch I'm referring, and once your new batch is. Uh, near to come we have to stop it and we have to uh, do the deployment so we have to run the command call stop uh, hyphen ag dot uh, azure factory v2 pipeline runs so it will install all the activity and you have to do the deployment on there and once your deployment completes then you have to stop the same pipeline so what are the batch in hold it will start executing again this is my fundamental to understand this question i'll try to give the answer as as i understand if you know better option please let me know okay let me cover my last question how to print key vault secret values in area so as you know key vault is an area where you kept your secret means Key Vault can ac accessible any of the Azure services, okay, and you can directly use it without showing your private data, means your secret keys. So this question is for uh, some of the interview prospective user want to see secret values on ADF. So this is not an idle case, but if you interview us, you have should know answers. So you have to call a babe activity where you have to call your secret keys. Okay, that's a very simple idea. But how you display it, that's another question. You have to use set variable component, you have to use it. In set variable, you have to get the wave activity output. Okay, once you do that and run the pipeline, it will show the output on your display prospect. Okay, so this is my today's area to cover in Azure interview site if if you think any of the answer to be corrected more or precisely more you can please do the comment I will try to cover all the answer again I'll try it I'm also improving myself on Azure side so thank you for watching my channel please subscribe please like and please give your valuable comment so I can improve myself and best of luck for your Azure interview thank you very much